What's going on YouTube day back again and today guess what it's the first day of August and it's also Veda here on YouTube which means vlog every day in April or August so we're going to try and post up a vlog whether it be short or long every day I wanted to showcase to you guys some of the gear that I've ended up picking up that I have found works best for my needs and hopefully your needs for doing both vlogs and review videos and short videos here on YouTube. So without further ado, let's get into it. I wanna throw up a personal challenge to all of my viewers to uh, start your own channel if you haven't already and just post up short vlogs, whether it be your cat eating food or storm clouds or just what's going on in your life. Come to the end of this month, I will have a contest where I will have you guys do submissions of your channels i will rate them and i will be giving out some prizes so definitely want to stay tuned for that i want to get your guys's participation as i can if you guys already have a channel and you're already planning on doing it just say i'm doing a vlog or i have a channel and i post videos and that way we can just click on your name and go to your channel because if you post a link to your channel it will just flag you and it'll go to my spam box as you guys know one of my biggest things that i end up using is my canon g7x but not everybody can afford 500 dollars plus for a camera so we're going to get that out of the way and for this whole month i think i'm pretty much going to vlog using phones Everybody's got one. Everybody has, you know, the way phones are made nowadays, the cameras on them, whether it be the front facing or the back facing, are really good. In some cases, they're better than most high end cameras. Plus, you always have them with you. Now, I do have an iPhone 6 here, and I do keep this around. Actually, I ended up buying this just for making videos and stuff. And the reason I went with the 6 is, well, it has your headphone jack and it has your lightning port. So the plus of using a iPhone 6 or lower is if you're out and about, say you're spending a day doing, oh, hey, there I am. Look, if you're out and about, you can plug a power bank into this. That way your phone is always charged. And if you want to plug in an external microphone, you can. I hate the fact that with iPhone 7, like with my uh, Moto Z here, they did the same thing. It has a USB-C port on the bottom and no headphone jack. And that makes it a pain in the butt because you can't charge it and use headphones at the same time. And it, that's just a pain in the butt. Um, now, one of my big things that I love using, um, this takes excellent video and Rode makes an application called Rode Rec. It's a free app. You can download it and you don't have to use their microphones with it. But the great thing is you can transfer files by Wi-Fi and or Bluetooth to your computer, to other devices. And it has an EQ. You can set that up and do as you want with it. Very cool. Apple also makes a free program, which is really cool, called iMovie. That way you can just edit your videos on the fly on your phone. For demonstration purposes, I will be using my Motorola phone for the video demonstration when we get to that. First and foremost, let's get to the basics. You guys know that I love my Gorillapod, so this always ends up going with me. I can use it with the big Canon camera and or I can use it with the small one. You don't have to use something like this, uh, but this has been very durable, held up well over a year. It's been dropped. It has gone all over the place, traveled all over with me, and it is still holding up perfectly fine, and it is very adjustable. I just, I love this thing. I've had some smaller versions of this, and the these ball joints just kind of get loose and sloppy. They break over time. So this... Um, I'm a big proponent of this. Links to everything will be down in the description as usual. Next up, I ended up purchasing this off of Amazon. This is the Puroma Universal Cell Phone Tripod Mount. There are several different ones that are out there, but I got this one for the purpose because if you do a Facebook uh, video and or say Snapchat, Instagram video, you know, it wants you to have in your camera in portrait mode. For YouTube, it is better having it in landscape. So I got this so that you can do it either way. Easy flip around, you just mount it to your tripod, just like so. 
Now with this, this gives you all kinds of universal between being able to pivot side to side. You've got the ball joint on here. You've got this that you can move around if you need to. You just mount your phone in there, either direction. Now, one of the reasons that I ended up getting this is because it's got the socket right up here. And for that, we're wanting to mount our microphone. Speaking of microphones, I've got two different ones here. On this one is the Rode Video Micro. And I really like this one. They have several different types, but this one is awesome because it's not, uh, it doesn't have its own battery power. So you don't have to worry about forgetting it. Um, this one is powered by the phone itself. So you do kind of have to be cautious, but I haven't noticed that it really uses that much energy. This one retails for, I believe, around $55. Uh, you can keep an eye on it. It does fluctuate around, but like I said, this does uh, run about $55. This works as a shotgun style microphone. You will get some sound from the sides, but it's mainly directional straight off the front. This is one of the few that comes from Rode that actually comes with a dead cat or dead kitten, however you want to end up saying it due to the size. There is foam inside of it and this cuts down the wind noise to almost zero if you are outside. If you're inside just doing vlogs and stuff like that, you can remove that. Um, it doesn't really matter, but this really does bring up the audio quality. At the end of the video, if you stay tuned, I will have a short demonstration showing you guys the different sound quality between the different microphones and the stock microphone. One of the other things that I end up using is this is the Rode Smart Lav Plus. Now this is just a lav microphone. Um, this does work with the lav or the Rode program and it has come in super handy. In fact, I just ended up picking up a 20 foot extension cable. That way I can use this both in my sound deck and also for vlogging if I choose to. This one retails for a little bit more. This one's about $70. But like I said, I really like this one. You can just clip it on your shirt. The sound is crystal clear. Um, and you don't really get that much side noise or wind noise with it. You can get a little mini dead cat that goes on here, but it's not really needed. You can tuck this away in your shirt, have this plugged into your phone and your phone in your pocket using, using it as a sound recorder. And of course, I had to drag this out. This is used for my phone, but of course, iPhone users have the same thing if you're using an iPhone 7. I'm not saying you can't use this stuff with it, but you're going to have to have the dongle. In my wisdom, I ended up getting something like this, which I am not going to, well, I might put the link down in the description. And it's just as a warning because I don't really want you guys to buy it. So I'm putting it down there just so you guys end up knowing. Um, I ended up picking this up because it will screw into here. And then as you can see on the bottom there, you do have the uh, larger screw in and it attaches there. But the problem is when you have it down where it's not flopping around, the microphone points off to that angle. Um, there's something about the threading on here and I did see a video and I was like, okay, well, what are the chances that I will have the same problem as this person had that was in the UK? I had the same issues. So we got rid of that and I ended up picking up a cold shoe mount. Um, this one was from, this was from photo rig. There will be a link down in the description. Um, this has a couple of different attachment screws and it just screws right into there. And there we go. It's on there all nice and snug. You can just slide your microphone on there, tighten down the bracket and it's not going anywhere. This actually works really great because this reduces any vibration, whether you're walking around, things like that. Um, this works on the same principle as the bracket for your studio microphones, like what I'm using right now. One of my last suggestions, and it is not necessary, but I ended up picking up this eight in one cell phone lens pack. I don't use it that much. I pretty much just go right off of what's on the camera, but this can be 
handy especially but this can be handy especially if you're doing something like uh, your super macro shots really close-up shots it does even have an ND filter that is in there which I have found comes in real handy on sunny days next up we're just going to slide in our phone now this bracket is wide enough if you have a phone that has a battery pack that you can attach in there I would suggest doing so. I don't have this really snug down and the reason I don't is because I wanted to show you. Now I do do Facebook live videos and that's where this comes in handy. Now if you're doing Facebook live videos and things you can just flip it around to a portrait mode. Have your dongle plugged in and your microphone plugged in and you will have a nice crisp sound instead of using the muted sound that comes from your phone. Now, if I was using the iPhone, I wouldn't have to be doing this um, and it would end up sitting a lot lower. And then for shooting YouTube videos, this is how I usually end up having it. You can see here on the back side, I actually have, there's these notches that you can put the cables into. I have one there and one pressed into there since there's the dongle. And that way you're not having cables flopping around and hitting the phone and giving yourself ambient noise and clicking. But without further ado, let's kick this on and uh, give you guys some sound quality and wrap this up. All right, boys and girls, here we are giving a sound demonstration. This is coming straight from the phone. There is no sound editing or anything with that. I'm giving you straight out of the camera. And if you're vlogging and you're having issues because I know a lot of people end up wanting to look directly at the screen, I am using the back facing screen. Um, put a little red dot or something right about there and that way you guys can keep a track and looking at the camera lens because that gives you connection with your audience or with whoever you're trying to communicate with. So this is the sound coming straight from the phone. I am using uh, open camera for Android, which I find actually works better than the standard uh, Moto camera app application. So we're going to swap over and we're going to use the video micro. All right, here we are using the video micro. I'm speaking at the same levels that I did with the other. I know this is going to be a little bit louder, so I don't want to blow you guys out of the seats. But again, this is the sound coming from the Rode video micro. Um, it is a shotgun style microphone. It is going to pick up some ambient sound, which is off to the right and the left. Doesn't pick up any sound on the back, so that part is very good. And uh, like I said, so it's directional. It's going to pick up your voice a lot better than the standard cell phone, microphone, even though with the Moto Z, it has, what, three microphones down on the bottom. Um, I find that this is louder and it's a little bit crisper. I'm going to switch over now using the, the Rode uh, SmartLav Plus. All right, here we are using the, the um, SmartLav Plus from Rode. And as you can see, it's just clipped on to my shirt collar right here. And it's going to pick up a more, probably more bassy sounds since it's a little bit closer to my throat um, and not so, not so tinny. But that's what this is going to end up sounding like. This is really great because you can get the extension cable uh, if you choose to. Or if you're wanting to do like memos, things like that, you can just have your phone in your pocket with this plugged into it. If you're on iOS, being an Apple device, uh, you can use the Rode Smart, uh, the Rode program, and uh, do sound clips. You can even do editing. It has an EQ on it. I'm actually kind of upset because I've had this for two years now, I want to say, and been using it off and on. They still have not come out with an uh, Android version of the app, which I don't understand because a lot of uh, a lot of companies stick with Apple, and I can kind of understand that. But yeah, that's just so. Uh, without further ado, we're going to swap over to the good camera and microphone again and close up this video. All right, so there you have it, boys and girls. Links will be down in the description for each of the items. I hope you found this informative. I will have separate reviews for each one of the little items that ended up coming up as far as quality goes. But I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and 
opinions on these before we ended up getting into a vlog month. I hope this ended up helping somebody. You don't need the, all the microphones. You can use just your phone. You just want to make sure and speak up really clearly. A lot of times I would actually suggest not using um, I see a lot of people, they make videos and they're using their earbuds um, and or they're using, you know, the cabled headphones for the Apple. I would suggest actually just using the microphone that's on the phone versus that. Those work great for phone calls, but video, it sounds a little tinny, a little bit muted, and I wouldn't suggest doing so. So as usual, I hope you guys all found that enjoyable and entertaining and somewhat educational. I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. Stay tuned for a vlog later on today. Peace out, YouTube.